Hello, everybody. Hey, my servos still hadn't showed up. They were supposed to be here two days ago, and they're still not here. They're scheduled again for tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. But what I did stumble across, I've got a, a radio link receiver and transmitter, well, two receivers, actually, and a transmitter that I forgot I ordered, um, and I'm going to put those in the uh, brushless car, so... I'll show you what the thing looks like. I'm not going to do a review on it because I hadn't used it yet. But uh, let's just go ahead and give you a, a, a first look at the radio link transmitter and receivers. I'm getting ready to do the brushless car. I've got the motor installed and i got a few pieces of the car to put back together. got to put the... Uh, servo and, and uh, the ESC and stuff in there. Uh, the two ser I've got two servos ordered for this. I've got the same one that I used in the brushed car and then I got a heads up on another servo that doesn't require modification on the uh, servo mount. So that should be in tomorrow and if it shows up I'll do a little comparison and see. Uh, one other thing I want to check out, I, I want to see if I can take the case off of this servo and put the high-tech HS81 internals into this case. I really like the way the high-tech servo works. The other one may work just as well, but it's an unknown because I haven't seen it yet. And I, at this point, don't know if it fits or not. So we'll see tomorrow if they show up. I thought I was going to have to take the radio and receiver out of the brushed car, but I forgot I ordered this and I uh, haven't ever even opened it. So I thought we'd take a look at that real quick. It also has a gyro receiver and the thing about this, I'll be able to hook up, uh, just put several receivers and just use this. You can actually name your cars in this uh, radio. So the reason I didn't do this is I got a really smoking deal on the Dumbo RC and I wanted to try one of those out and it actually ended up showing up before this one showed up. So we'll take a look at this and see what's in the box. And this is the way that it showed up. It is beat up pretty good. So, but that's not, uh, that's not Radio Link's fault. I don't know, I don't even remember uh, for sure where I ordered the thing from. I'm not gonna watch, you don't have to watch me fumble, let me just get this out of the box. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm not real much on unboxing stuff because the package mine came in might not be the same package yours comes in. So I really see no point. If people want to see unboxings, you can let me know and I'll try to do a more elaborate unboxing. But I've ordered two things at the same, a duplicate of exactly the same item from the same place at the same time. And they've both come in in different boxes. So what, what difference does it make? I just need to know what's in the box. This comes with a gyro receiver and I bought a second gyro receiver and this also was in that order it is an extra uh, motor mount for a 144001 WL Toys and I'm going to try to make this one adjustable so that you can run a variety of different motors with this car and that, that's a future project so this did come with a, a manual and it's it's in Chinese and English, and I just opened it up real quick, and I see, oops, that's the Chinese side. I see that uh, they actually, there is a sticker on item number three, so they reworded it or changed it. I don't know what it originally said, but it it's at least a good indication that there was a correction made. There's a correction over here. So that's probably a good thing. I haven't run this, so I can't recommend it. 
uh, in either direction. So we'll uh, get a set of, I'll let it, those squeaky noises out. Uh, I'll get a set of batteries for this. And, and this, if I recall, wow, that's a whole bucket full of, uh, it looks like six double A's. And I believe there's a way you can uh, pull that battery box out of there and uh, run a battery pack with this. I'm not reviewing this at this point. I'm just showing you guys what I'm up to because the servos didn't come in in time. But I'll get this all put together. I can't give you an opinion on it because I haven't used it yet. So when this happens, uh, if the servos come in tomorrow, we'll uh, get another video together. And just so you know, if I sound different, if I don't sound different, I'm running a Rode Wireless Go mic and I'm just using the little hockey puck. I didn't put the lav mic on. So uh, if you have an opinion on the audio on this video, you might let me know on that too. So if Amazon doesn't lose my order again, it was supposed to be here two days ago. Now it's rescheduled for tomorrow. If they don't lose it, I'll get the um, the servo and we'll, we'll tinker with the servos a little bit in the next video and hopefully I get some runtime in.